Hello Algebra 2 students. We are going to start Section 2, Linear Relations and Functions. Learning target, we can identify linear relations and functions and we can use intercepts to graph a line. So, linear relations versus non-linear relations. So in the last video or the last section, we just talked about relations. Now we're going to talk about what makes them linear. So a linear equation is let me get my highlighter here. A linear equation has no operations other than addition, subtraction, multiplication of a variable by a constant. And here are some examples of linear equations and some examples of nonlinear equations. I would take a moment to pause and write down these examples. These are great examples. So to tell whether or not a linear function or a function is linear, um, it can be written in the form of y equals mx plus b, which I'm sure you all remember. And um, we can and we can look at these examples and tell whether these functions are linear. So let's look at this first one: f of x equals eight minus three fourths x. Is this a linear function? Yep, it sure is. Um, because it can be written as f of x equals a negative 3 fourths x plus 8. We're multiplying by a constant here and we're adding 8. So it works out. Now what about this one? This one would be nope. So, and this has to do with because the x is in the denominator. Anytime the x is in the denominator, that means that the exponent on x is a negative 1, and so it cannot be a uh, function when you have negative exponents or x is in the denominator. just doesn't work out. So now let's talk about x and y intercepts. And you might recall this from Algebra 1 as well. An x-intercept is the coordinate of the point at which the graph crosses the x-axis. So if we were to draw a little graph here, it would be on this axis. That would be your x-intercept. <coughs> and if you were just to um, look at a point, it's when y crosses 0. Or excuse me, when y is 0. So when y equals 0, that's your x-intercept. So y has to equal 0. Now your y-intercept is the opposite. It is the y-coordinate of the x of the point at which the graph crosses the y-axis. So if we were to draw a little graph here, this is where it crosses the y-axis. So it would be 0 comma y. And you can find the y-intercept algebraically by plugging in 0 for x. Now one way that's easy to find the x and y intercepts is to put your um, equation or your function in standard form. So standard form is ax plus by equals c where a, b, and c they're all whole numbers and a has to be the leading coefficient has to be positive. So if you notice, a and, or x and y are on the same side as well. So that's just one easy way to find the x and y intercepts. It's up to you if you want to use standard form. I'm not going to make you use it, but um, if you want to, if you want to use it to find the x and y intercepts, you can. And I'll show you an example here on the next slide. So find the x and y intercepts of 2y equals 4x plus 5, then graph it. So I'll give you a moment here to write down um, your graph in your notes. So what you can do, if you want to go ahead and just start plugging in 0 for y, solving for x, go for it. If you want to just start plugging in um, 0 for x and solving for y, that's fine. Or we can go ahead and put it into standard form. So when we do that, I'm going to get 
this guy over here. So we have a negative 4x plus 2y equals 5. So again, when I put in a standard form, this leading coefficient has to be positive. So if I'm going to change the sign of x, I've got to change the sign of everybody. So now our x-intercept, I'm going to go ahead and plug in 0 for y. And we have 4x equals negative 5 because that will just cancel out. So we divide by 4. x equals a negative 5 fourths. So our x-intercept, we write out as a point, is going to be negative 5 fourths comma 0. And then the y-intercept is going to be, when we plug in 0 for x, And we have a negative 2y equals a negative 5. So y equals 5 halves. So our y-intercept will be 0, comma, 5 over 2. So when we graph this, um, negative 1 and 1 fourth is right here. Negative 1 and 1 fourth, comma, 0. And then 0, 5 halves is 2 and a half is up here. And then we're going to connect the dots. And I'm really, really good at drawing lines, aren't I? It takes a lot of practice to draw good lines like that. Okay, that's all I have for you guys. Um, come with questions if you have any. And I will see you later.